Hey guys, what's up? So welcome to this video. I'm gonna break down basically what is the difference between a $100 website versus a $10,000 website. Now this video, it's mostly gonna be for web um, designers, but maybe if you're a business owner, you might get some interest out of this as well. I basically wanna break down why some websites are only worth $100, how you know people who are selling websites for $100, how they think, how they're approaching it, why they get stuck at around this price point, and then the people who are selling websites at $10,000 or sometimes much more, how they're thinking, what they're doing differently from these people, why they can charge literally 100 times more for something that often doesn't take that much work or that much more time. So I wanna break down the differences really, really fast. If you have any questions, let me know below. If you got value from this video, uh, hit like, subscribe, all that stuff. So basically, when it comes to $100 websites, <clears throat> the first thing that you gotta know is when it comes to business owners buying a website, there's a lot of options out there for them to get a website, you know, just a website, very, very cheap. First, they have options where they can literally just build it themselves, like Wix or Squarespace. But when it comes to finding someone to just set up or install a website, it's not hard to do. They can go on Upwork, they can go on Fiverr, and then the people creating these websites often are just installing some sort of theme, some sort of template, and they can set it up very, very fast, and that's it. So the business owner who goes looking for a $100 website, they're gonna find a $100 website not too hard, and the person building a $100 website, it's not hard to do. Nowadays, with the solutions out there for building websites, it's very possible to set up a website with literally just a couple of minutes work, you install something, you add in some images, you add in the text, it's good to go. So basically, my thoughts are when it comes to selling a website, for the most part, design is pretty cheap. If it's just the website itself that you're selling, how it looks, how it performs, it's not too hard to do those sort of things and there's a lot of different people out there who can do that. So the marketplace is oversaturated on this side of things and basically the prices are cheap. It's easy for a business owner to find someone who can do a cheap website, and it's easy for the people building cheap websites to just keep pumping out these cheap websites. Now, if you're someone who's in this bracket over here, and you wanna get over to $10,000 websites, you gotta switch up your approach. And basically, there's two different ways that you gotta look at this. So as the business owner, when they look at a $100 website, all they're thinking about is, the website, and I know this might seem like, okay, what's the difference over here, but <laughs> with a $100 website, they're just looking at the website. They're like, okay, does this, you know, does it look good? Is there pages? Does it work? Does it load properly? Uh, is it responsive on a mobile device? And as we just covered, it's possible to do all of this really, really easy using a theme, using a template, using something like Elementor. You can set this up really, really fast. Now, when it comes to a $10,000 website, a business owner is looking for something different. They're not just looking for a website, they're looking for a business tool. So what they want is not necessarily how it looks or how it's designed or any of that stuff. They're not looking at the website itself, they're looking past the website and they're trying to see what can the website get them. What problems can it solve? What, values can it, uh, what value can it add to the business? What can it do? And basically there's two different things generally that they're looking for. Um, you can call them like less or more. A business owner who spends $10,000 on a website, again, they're not looking at the website themselves. They're looking at the website, what it can get them more of and what it can get them less of. And they're gonna have things in here that they're gonna wanna see that this website is gonna help them achieve. So more, I mean, things like sales, revenue, customers, authority, maybe in their niche, um, market share, like they're looking for something out of this website and then less, just less work, less work, less hassle, less stress. Then with systems, maybe you're gonna have systems on this website, literally like less replying back to customers, less answering questions, um, less dealing with the wrong sort of clients. They're looking at this website as a business tool. They want it to do something for the business. They want it to help in a big way and they want it to solve problems. These people over here who are buying a $100 website, they're not thinking about that stuff. Maybe they are, but they're not really thinking about it because if they were and if they had a real business, they'd be investing more. They'd be up towards this amount rather than down cheap. The people who just want the website set up, hey, you know, I'm looking for a website, I want one page, it's gonna have these colors, I wanna have these images, for them, $100, because all it's doing is just there, it's online and it looks good. 
But for a business, why would they spend much more if they don't have these bigger things that they want? So the people spending $10,000, they're looking for not just the website, they're trying to do something using that website. They want you as a web designer to show them and to basically create the actual website that does this to achieve things for the business. They want to have their problem solved. They want to get to that next place in their business. They want to increase things. They want more of the things that they're after and they want less of the things that have been stressing them out. So a $10,000 website, it's not so much about how long it takes to build or how you build it or how many pages or how cool and custom the design is. It's going to be about a business tool. Very, very few businesses out there, unless there's some mega brand like Nike or Porsche or something, they're not going to be paying for just design. Design is going to be a part of a $10,000 website, but it's a small part. What they really want is what they're getting from that design, what they're getting from the website, what they're getting from what you build them. So they're looking at this website, not as, you know, let's say this is our website here. This is your laptop. These people here, $100, they're just looking on the surface level. How does it look? How does it, you know, perform? How many pages, all this stuff. That's what they're thinking of, the surface level stuff. These people who are gonna pay more, they're looking past the website. They're looking over here. What can this website do for the business? What's it gonna achieve? What's it gonna help with? Can it solve these big problems that the business have? So they're willing to invest this money if they can see that it isn't just a website, it's gonna do all this other stuff. Increase sales, make it easy to keep the current customers they already have, uh, make their systems more efficient, just everything that a business is gonna want. More money, more customers, more sale, more authority in their niche, uh, more market share, less stress, less hassle, less work, uh, less time wasted, more automated systems. That's what they want out of a website. And a lot of the times they don't even care really too much how it looks if it can help, these, if it can help them get these things. The people over here for the lower prices, you'll find that they're often fixated on how it looks because that's all they're thinking about. They're like, okay, I'm paying money. I want it to look the best. I want it to have everything custom. I want to have all these crazy design features. But at the end of the day, a website is really just a tool for a business. And if you want to get those bigger clients and start really increasing your prices, you got to view a website that same way that, okay, design is important. It has to look good to some degree, but really where you want to put your time and your focus and your energy when you're building the website is looking at not just how it looks, but what it does. So these people usually are focused on how it looks. These people, what it does. What does it do for the business? What's this website gonna help with? What problems is it gonna fix? What's it gonna remove that they don't want? What's it gonna add in that they do want? If you can start seeing a website in this way, even if it's just a one page website that the design literally takes you an hour to set up using a template, but if you can do those extra things that go in that design, you can learn how to attract the right customers that they're after. You can learn how to speak that um, language, you know, have the right copywriting and communication in there to have the good message that's going to increase sales, that's going to bring in the right sort of customers, that's going to land them big projects. You can add in different things in here to increase their perceived authority, social proof, testimonials, reviews, case studies, example projects. It's all about what you're putting into this, you know, on a lot of the, a lot of the time it's gonna be a pretty basic design actually. It's about what you're putting into that design, what goes into the container of design that can help them solve these sort of problems. So I hope this makes sense and I really hope that um, it's starting to point you in the right direction. I know it's a big topic and it's something I can make a few more videos about, <clears throat> but what you need to do if you wanna increase your prices is start thinking about when you're selling websites, when you're selling web design, don't talk to the business owner so much about what the website itself is doing, focus on what it does. So ask them, hey, what do you want this website to do? What problems do you want to have fixed? What are you looking to solve in your business? What are you looking to achieve? Uh, what are you looking to maybe remove? Start focusing on what it does. And when you're building it up, you know, trying to create that sale to close it at a big amount, you want to have a pretty big list of things that it does for the business that have nothing to do with the website itself. So you'll see, you know, I teach a lot of different people web design and I talk to a lot of different web designers. The people who are just kind of stuck selling the lower price stuff, they're always talking about, oh, it's responsive, it's custom coded, it's four pages, um, it's 
you know, modern, whatever, they're always talking about the website itself, how it looks, how it performs, these sort of things. The people who sell at the higher price, they're always talking to the business owner and communicating and making these proposals and these pitches that are based on what the website does. They're talking about, hey, this thing is gonna get you those clients that you're after. It's gonna help you close these big projects. Um, it's gonna take away all this time that you're wasting right now. You know, da da da. It's talking always in terms of what it does for the business, how it helps the business, what it helps the business achieve, what it helps the business remove. So the big takeaway from this video, if you wanna increase your prices, stop focusing and talking to business owners and pitching them on what the website looks like, how it's coded, what it um, is on the surface and get past that into what does a business owner actually want from this and what problems can it solve and what value can it add, what can it help the business achieve. What you're quickly gonna find is to increase your prices with this approach, which is the best approach, that you're gonna to have to go out there and find business owners with bigger problems. If you're trying to sell to a tiny little pizza store that just wants to get their you know, basic website online, they're not gonna have $10,000 problems. They're not gonna have the budget, but they're not even gonna have the problems in the first place to justify it, even if they had the budget. You gotta get out there and find the people with big problems, with big needs, who are trying to achieve big things with their business. So the person, you know, the businesses that you can find that want to achieve more and that have these bigger problems holding them back and something that a website could help with, you know, not on the surface, but what a website's gonna do, these are the people that you can have these conversations with and you can see your prices very, very quickly increase for the same amount of work, for the same, you know, on the surface, technical website, whatever you wanna call it, but the difference is the website is gonna actually help them so much more with the business um, that that price is justifiable. If you have a business, uh, just yesterday I was contacted by an engineering business, they're doing millions of sales a year, they want me to look at their website, they're gonna have $10,000 problems very, very easily because the price of one project to them is worth so much that it justifies um, investing in a new website that can do these different things. A tiny little business who just wants something that looks good, they're ne you're never gonna have this conversation because they're not on this level, they don't have those sort of big problems, and they don't have the budget to invest in you fixing those sort of problems. So, quick recap again, I think this is a second, second recap. Focus on helping people that need things past the website that a website can do for them, but that's bigger than the website and talk about what it can do for them, have those styles of conversations, stay away from the people with small problems who are just always focused on how a website looks, how it's gonna be designed, all those things on the surface level. Nothing wrong with good design, but it's gotta be used as something to help a business achieve something else. Often a pretty standard design using a template, using a theme, like a $20 theme is gonna be perfectly fine. You don't have to have that much coding skills. It's about those additional skills on top of it, problem solving, seeing value in the marketplace, understanding what their clients and customers are looking for, and then having that good messaging, that good marketing to turn this sort of website into something that does something for the business, usually increasing sales, bringing in more customers, bringing in more clients. So that's it for this video. I know I rambled a little bit. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Really hope that it helps and uh, catch you in the next video.